Hey guys, thanks for watching our May. Make an NVMe clone can gain a greater storage. As more and more files, documents, projects, games, and applications need to be installed, upgrading smaller NVMe SSD to larger NVMe SSD for more space becomes an avoidable trend. Also, some people are back up valuable files for easy transferring. Anyway, no matter what host leads you to NVMe cloning, you may want to know how to perform the cloning. In general, to clone HDD to NVMe SSD, you need to prepare these conditions for a secure boot. Your computer hardware, UEFI firmware, an M2 PCIe X4 slot, and UEFI boot mode. However, if you have a ready run operating system on NVMe SSD, those preconditions can be saved. All you need to pay attention to is those two aspects. Aspect 1, the NVMe M2 slot. Aspect 2, the NVMe SSD cloning software. I recommend you use Alme Backup Standard. It is such a free assistant that combines disk cloning and disk image. You are free to use disk clone and disk backup features based on your own situations. It supports all Windows PC operating systems like Windows 10, 8.1, 8, 7, Vista, XP. I will introduce two ways to finish cloning process. Choose which suits you most. We want clone NVMe SSD to another NVMe SSD in Windows. First, collect to target NVMe SSD to your machine and make sure it can be detected. Install and run Alme Backup on your computers as well. Then click on clone and then disk clone. Choose the source NVMe SSD. In the next page, choose the target NVMe SSD. Be sure you have chosen the right disk because the target disk will be overwrite. Here comes the operating summary. You have choices to edit partitions on the destination NVMe SSD and clone in sector by sector mode. Take the option SSD alignment and click Start Clone. Way 2. Perform NVMe to NVMe migration via backup restore. Before we start this process, prepare a USB drive greater than 8 GB in size, an external storage, NAS, or network shared folder to store backup image. Generally speaking, we make image backup first, then create bootable media. But if we are using the same USB flash drive to make image backup and bootable media, the order will change. Now I use USB flash drive as a case. Step 1. Create bootable media. Plug in the USB drive. In the home type, click Tool, then click Create bootable media. It is suggested to choose WinPE mode. Click on Next. Now choose PE boot mode. The options here depend on whether your boot disk is MBR or GPT. MBR choose Lexi. GPT choose UEFI. Click Next to continue. Select bootable media. Because we are using USB boot device. Select second option and click Next. Here comes a warning message. Create bootable media will format USB drive. Make sure you want to do this. Click Yes to start creating. Step 2. Make backup image. After the process of create bootable media is completed, we need to do a backup image. 
Back to our backup main interface. Click on Backup and then Disk Backup. Choose NVMe SSD as source path. Click Add to continue. Then choose external hard drive or flash drive, NAS, shared folder, or anywhere you can access with WinPE mode as a destination path. Click on Start Backup and wait for it. Step 3. Restore to new NVMe SSD. Shut down your computer and remove USB drive after that. Replace the original NVMe SSD with the new NVMe SSD manually. Insert the bootable USB drive again. Boot from the USB drive and you will enter into WinPE mode and see a loaded LMA backup. Click on Restore type and click on Select Image File. Then select the Disk Backup Image. Choose Restore to Entire Disk or not. Click Next. Select your new NVMe SSD as the solution. and click on Next. In the Operation Summary page, click on SSD Alignment. Finally, click Start Restore. Wait patiently. Eject the bootable media after restoring successfully, and then boot your computer from the new NVMe SSD. Click like or leave comments if you like this video. Subscribe for more useful tutorials.